the weather, of course, causing all kinds of headaches at our airports. Here's a live look at the turnpike in the foreground, and that's Newark Air uh, Airport right there in the background. And in the foreground there is the New Jersey Turnpike. You can see traffic is moving along, but the real story is at our airports today. Let's go to Allie Bauman. She's live at Newark Airport with how the situation is shaping up there. Allie. Well, the lines are long and the patience is short here. The weather is causing lots of delays and hundreds of cancellations at all the major airports in our area for a second day in a row. And officials warn this could last for the next few days. At Newark Airport is seeing 22% of its departing flights canceled this afternoon. LaGuardia has 27% of departures canceled, and that's 12% at Kennedy Airport. The arriving flights at all three airports are delayed at an average of two to three hours. The weather is being compounded by the overflow from delays and cancellations yesterday when 20% of flights were canceled in the New York area. And Port Authority says it's not just the weather in the tri-state making, not just the weather of the tri-state, I should say, making this mess. Thunderstorms even several hundreds, hundreds of miles away can significantly reduce the traffic at the terminals. The Port Authority recommends that travelers check the status of their flights before heading to the airport, especially since Lonnie and Vanessa have mentioned that this weather could be lasting for the next several days. We're live at Newark Airport. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. Okay, Allie, thank you. And we have continuing coverage of the storms on our website. There you can always find the latest radar and updates from the CBS 2 weather team. It's all there for you at CBSNewYork.com.